Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this guide, we are going to have a look at how you can upload your products to Template Master Marketplace as an author. I'm going to walk you through the entire process and show you all the details you need to know to successfully upload your very first product to Template Master Marketplace. So once you're logged in into your account, go to your author dashboard. You can access it if you click on this little icon right here in the right hand top corner. Now to upload a new product, you need to go to the product tab and you can either click this icon here on click upload a new product. Here, the first thing you have to do is select a product category. Overall, we have over 60 categories on Template Master Marketplace. But if you have a product that doesn't fit into any of those categories, let us know about it and we'll see if we can open a new category so you can upload your products in our marketplace. For this tutorial, we're going to upload a WordPress theme. As for the product name, there are certain recommendations that you should follow if you want your product to get more downloads and if you want to get it approved quickly. For example, you should not use all lowercase or all uppercase characters for the name of your product. You should not include promotional text in your title like top quality template or best price template. Do not include information about the prices, sales and discounts into the title. There are specific fields dedicated for that. Do not use words in foreign language. Do not add your nickname and do not add the notions and topics to your title that are too general. What you can and you should do, however, is to include the category, the functionality and the concept of your template, also the style, sometimes the framework that you used to create it, and also the specific niche that this theme is created for. And these are the things that you should add to your title. So it represents your product in the best way. Here are a couple examples of the good product titles. For example, Starbus Law Ready to Use Clean Bootstrap HTML Website Template or support multipurpose creative HTML website template or blog element or WordPress theme. Each and every of the fields in the uploader are dedicated to either give information to the buyer about your product or help the buyer find your product. The title is the field that serves both purposes. So be very mindful about filling it in. Now, once we added a title, we can proceed to filling in the next field, which is meta description. Meta description is going to help your product to pop up higher in the search results. Because here you will add some of your keywords, you will add the product description. So it will also serve both purposes, as well as giving the buyer the information about your product and also pushing your product higher in the search results. The next field you'll need to fill in is meta title. It is something that will help search engines find your product. So you could approach it in the same way that you approach the product title. Include the keywords, include the platform it's built for, include the theme, the topic and the characteristic. If it's for a blog, make sure that the word blog is there. If it's for WordPress, make sure that you mention that it is built for WordPress. If it's built with Elementor, even better. So pour all of that information in your meta title. And there's also the recommended length of 50 to 60 characters. Now, the next required field is the link to your live demo, where the buyer will be able to have a look and most importantly, interact with your template before they complete the purchase. So make sure that this address leads to the correct and working domain with the correct and working live demo for your template. If you're uploading some other type of the product, not a website template and live demo is not needed there, this field will not be here. Once you select the topic, we'll put your product in the specific category on the marketplace. So it is easier to find for both search engines and the human buyers. So make sure that you're mindful about selecting the topic right here in this field. If you feel like your product fits in several topics in several categories, there is such an option. You can select several categories for the topic field. This means that your product will appear in both of these topics once any of them is selected by the buyer. The requirements for the description include the minimum length. It should contain at least 512 characters. What should be included in the description is the information about the product and about the niche for which this product was created and also should contain relevant keywords. The description field supports HTML markup, so you can add things like lists, headings and also text formatting to make it bold, italics, etc. What you are not allowed to do is to add links to third-party websites. Also email addresses, phone numbers or any other personal contact information. All the information about user salary that the buyer needs to see will be placed on your profile page. Also, you should not add the duplicate description of your product if the product is not exclusive. 
you cannot use the same description for it that you used on some other site or some other marketplace where you're selling it at the same time. But we're going to get back to the exclusive and non-exclusive options a little bit later and talk about it in detail. Once you're done with the description, please insert here the tags that best describe your product. These tags will help the buyer find your product, which is the best fit for them, by using the search panel. We have an extensive search panel on the website and many of the fields that you fill in right here will later help the buyer to find your exact product. So make sure that you take your time to fill in all of these fields right here, which can later ensure the success of your product on the marketplace. The zip file should contain the theme itself, also the documentation, and it's optional. If you want, you can include also the PSD file with the design of the template. More detailed requirements for the theme and how it should be structured you can find on our help desk for authors and all the links to the detailed information to the guides and requirements will of course be in the description down below. So we'll drop the archive right here and wait until it uploads. Then later we can upload the image that will represent our product. Here you can see the requirements for the main image. Make sure that this is a high resolution image that displays your product in an attractive way and lets the buyer know about what niche is for. For example, if it's for WordPress and for Elementor, you can use elements and icons to let the buyer know by seeing these visual cues what this product is for. Also, since this image will be used in ads, make sure it is as attractive as it can be. Now, the following images that are called slider images in here will be used on the product presentation page, right where the buyer can have a look at your live demo and start the purchase process by clicking on the buy this template button. The presentational images are those that will be displayed on the product page right below the slider and they have to tell more about your product in an attractive and descriptive way just so sometimes the buyer will not even need to read the description because you will tell everything about your product here in the presentational images. That all helps to create a better impression of your product that it is of more higher quality and belongs to a higher league. Also, promotional image is something that you should also submit if you want your product represented by this image to be used in our promotional campaigns. Because as a marketplace, we take care of the incoming traffic to your products, so you can sell more as authors. The technical requirements for promotional images include the one-to-one -one ratio and the minimum dimensions of 600 by 600 pixels. The size limit is 10 megabytes, and the supported formats are GIF, JPEG, PNG, BMP, and TIFF. If you're wondering in what kind of ads the images of your product will be appearing, those will be pop-ups, call-to-action buttons on banners, so to be sure that the promotional image serves its purpose to a maximum extent, make sure that you display your product in the best way in this image. And it also delivers all the basic and characteristic information about your template. Now the following fields in the category and attribute section are extremely important to how your buyers will be able to find your template. These fields will vary depending on the type of product you upload, these are extremely important and the information that you fill in in these fields or in these drop downs will be displayed also in the filter sidebar so the buyers will be able to filter down the products that fit their needs in the best way. The next field which is called support will let the customer know about your response time. And in the changelog field, you'll be able to fill in all the changes that have been done to the template after it has been uploaded. It lets your buyer know of how your product has evolved and how much you care about keeping it up to date. Now, the next section is probably the most exciting one, setting your price and licenses option. So as you know, on Template Master Marketplace, you can select the exclusivity option for a product, not for your entire account, but for a specific product. So every single product you upload can have a different characteristics in terms of the exclusivity. For example, you can upload a product and sell it exclusively, but another product that you upload in 5 or 10 minutes might not be exclusive. You're able to select this option for every single product individually. Your commission also depends on the exclusivity, but not only on the exclusivity of the product, but also on your sales history and how much you have sold on Template Master. And depending on that number, your commission can grow up to 70%. 
There is the price range that is recommended for your product. This is based on the estimate of the average price of the product in the product category that you have selected, in our case, WordPress themes. For e-commerce templates, for example, this number might be much higher. Now, if you would love your product to participate in sales and be sold with a discount, which consequently will lead to more sales and more income, you can tick this box. Now, this is the very last field to fill in, and this is the comment for your reviewer. The review team, right upon receiving your submission, will see this comment, and if there is something that you want to notify the review team about, just please type it in here. And this was the last step in this upload process. So, as you can see, everything is simple and very quick to complete. Now, once you uploaded your product to Template Master Marketplace, all that's left is to wait up to five days while our review team will review your product. Normally, it takes one to three days for the reviewer to get back to you with the verdict and let you know if the product will be uploaded on the marketplace or not. In case you got a product improvement request, there are detailed guidelines on why this might have happened and what to do about it. Since the review process is so quick, you can get your product reviewed and verified even after a rejection within one week. So that was pretty much it for this guide on how to upload your product on Template Master Marketplace. We hope it helped answer all of your questions you might have had about our uploader. And if there is still some left, be sure to visit our help desk for authors where you will get the rest of your questions answered. So start uploading and have a great time. See ya!